Welcome back to Logic Basics. We are going to start doing logic and uh, I'm just going to walk you through some exercises. You're going to do it on your own and uh, this will hurt your head probably. You'll start to get used to it and just just roll with it is what I'm going to suggest. Just roll with it and I'm going to be pro uh, projecting from my iPad. This is a, a little bit new for me so uh, this is another thing we're going to have to roll with. What I've done here is um, we're doing judgments and this is putting statements into logical form. So we're going to be learning logical form today and uh, logical form involves a subject term. So I've put subject S, copula C, and predicate P. Now we learned about the categorical uh, propositions a e i and o all s is p no s is p some s is p some s is not p we're not going to quite do that yet first we're going to just learn how to identify a subject term a copula and a predicate term and sometimes a sentence or a, pre uh, a proposition doesn't have the copula so this uh list of sentences down here are um, taken from the raymond mccall book they're just photocopied from that book and, and it's not as pretty as it could be, but we're going to roll with it. Um, these are uh, examples of statements that are not in logical form. So the, the instruction says put each of the following propositions in logical form. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'm going to set you loose to do these examples for your homework. All right, so uh, we're going to start with curiosity killed the cat. I'm just going to write that sentence here. Curiosity killed the cat. All right, now we don't have a copula. Remember, a copula is is. So subject copula predicate is like um, uh, apples are red right so we don't have an r or an r not we don't have a copula in this sentence actually in all of these sentences we're missing a copula so the job we have to do for this uh, exercise is to fill in a copula and uh, one little rule i will give you that may be helpful in figuring out where the copula goes is to ask these questions who or is who is what is how um is who is what is how is such that we might put in when i don't think when might be in here but uh, let's do this curiosity killed the cat example here. Curiosity is such that it killed the cat, maybe. So is such that has to do with the nature of the thing. Um, curiosity is how killed the cat? I don't think so. Curiosity is who killed the cat? No, it's not a person. How about curiosity is what killed the cat? That seems about right. So let's put that in. Curiosity is what killed the cat. Now, curiosity is our subject term. Is what is our copula. Killed the cat is our predicate now. Okay? So we're going to learn to identify subject, copula, predicate. And if we don't have a copula, we're going to fill in the copula. So let's clean this up a bit. I'm going to clean this board off and we're going to do another one. Isn't that neat? Uh, technology. Okay. So let's do fire burns next. Fire burns. So it looks like we have a subject and we have a predicate, but what's our copula? We don't have one, right? So is it fire is who burns? I don't think so. Is fire how burns? No, that's not grammatically correct. How about fire is what burns? Or is fire, fire is such that it burns. It's the nature of fire to burn. So let's say fire is what burns. All right, so 
Now, you have a list here of other statements, propositions that don't have a copula. I would like you to do the same thing that I did and fill them in. Now, there are some difficult ones. Let's, let's look at these. Who pays the piper calls the tune? You have to ask, is this talking about a person, a place, a thing? Ordinary caution would have prevented the disaster. Hmm, is what? Is how? Each man kills the thing he loves. So I'm going to leave this open for you to fill in the copula. Um, ask yourself, is what? Is who? Is how? You can't change the subject in the copula. You can't change it around. You have to keep the, the order of the sentence. The subject comes first, predicate comes second. Did I say copula? I meant predicate. You can't switch the subject and the predicate terms. You just have to stick in a copula somewhere where it's most appropriate and grammatically correct. Now, the one that's going to be the hardest is this one. I'm just going to predict this one's the hardest. So you have to ask, whose hope is this? That'll give you a clue. Who's hope? Um, I guess you could also ask is where is when to make it more full. You might have other examples in the future where you have to ask those questions. All right, so I'm going to set you free to work on this list of um, this list of examples. I want you to put them into logical form, meaning put a copula in there. The next uh, exercise is going to build on this. In the next exercise, we're going to identify subject, copula, predicate, and quantifier. And the quantifier is what tells us how many um, A, E, I, or O statements. So I'm going to pause here and let you work on these. Uh, I may or may not give you the answers. Maybe I'm not going to give you the answers. I want you to work them out and make mistakes. You can email me and uh, I'll give you the answer over email. How about that? All right.